Today's video is all about click tracking in MailChimp customer journeys. So let's get started. So what is click tracking? Well, as the name suggests, click tracking is actually tracking the links that are clicked in ordinary email campaigns that you send to your contacts. And it is uh, much more reliable, I think, than the open rates, as we all know, Apple has that Apple privacy policy where you can't really uh, rely on the opens. So click tracking, in my opinion, is very important metric to see how well your engagement is going with your contacts. But when you want to apply click tracking in customer journeys, there is a challenge there and I wish MailChimp would do a better job of this. But the goal of this video is to alleviate the challenge that there is with click tracking in customer journeys and also give you the ability to take action when someone clicks on a link in a campaign that is sent through journeys. So let's get over to the dashboard and get started. And let's go over to a journey that I've started, a welcome email sequence. And I'll show you where the challenges are when it comes to link tracking. So I've got a contact that signs up for a test audience, and then I'm going to do an if else because I want to make sure that they haven't gone through this sequence before. So I'm checking to see if they have a, a welcome tag or not. If they don't have a welcome tag already, then we're going to add a welcome tag. Simple enough, right? The next step is to send a welcome email. In that welcome email, if I click on that, You'll see here I have a link. If I go to preview, I have a link here that says download the ebook. So this is kind of like a lead magnet situation that are people are opting into the list to get the e the lead magnet or the ebook. Once they open up the email, I want to track if they're actually clicking this link that's included in this email. Well, that should be easy enough, right? So if I close this, I'll put in a, another journey point. So if we click on here, add a journey, the best uh, way we could do this is with an if else statement. So I'll just say, if they click that link, then they will get a tag that says, you know, whatever that ebook, or maybe it'll be ebook or ebook download or something like that. And then we can track that and apply that tag to that contact to, so to verify that they actually opened and clicked on that link. So you go into your if else statements and you say, okay, campaign activity, if they opened, no, I don't want opened, I want clicked, that's the one. If they clicked the previous email, we're here to help you get started, great, problem solved, except it's actually not tracking a link clicked in the email. What it's tracking is if they clicked open the email, how do we fix this challenge? So I'm gonna remove that delete that if else condition, then there are no other options where I can say, how, how do I track a link? Except if you create another journey. With this starting point, if they clicked a specific link in this email, then do this. So let me go into some details here. If they opened up the email, we're here to help you get started. Now, going back to our original customer journey, that's this email. We're here to help you get started. Great. So that's our starting point. If they've clicked a link in this email and this specific link, that's our starting point. If they don't already have an ebook download link tag, then go ahead and apply that tag. If they already have that tag, I can send them a, another email, which I haven't set up, that will say, hey, if you're looking for this, you know, you've already got it, check your emails, or here it is again, that type of thing, obviously in nicer language than I'm putting it now, but that would be this journey point over here. But we're talking about the other side here. If they don't already have that tag, then apply that tag. Then we can go on and with that tag in place, to go on and send them a different nurture sequence. In this example, I just say, you know, yay, you click the link, <laughs> but obviously you'd be doing a lot more marketing juice here, nurturing here, where you're sending them several emails based on the fact that they clicked the download for the ebook in this case. Hopefully this is all making sense to you. Let's put this into practice. So for this test, I'm going to be using the sign up form URL. 
obviously in your case, you're gonna be using, we'll just open up a new tab here. In your case, you're gonna be using an embedded form or other, some other type of sign up form on your website. So this is just as a test. So we'll enter in an email address here. There we go. And we'll kind of click subscribe. We have to confirm our humanity and then click subscribe again. So our subscription is confirmed. Let's go into our audience contacts and see how it all works. We can go into all contacts. Right, so here is the new sign up here and you notice that it hasn't been added the welcome. So let's take a look at these journeys that we've got here. So we'll open that up in a new tab and we'll open up this one in a new tab so we can take a look at how they're working. So someone signs up to our test audience. If they do not have a welcome tag, a welcome tag will be added. And then if it gets added, they're gonna send out this email. When we get sent this email, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna click that link, which will activate step two in our journey or our second journey where it goes through and says, oh, they click that link, apply another tag, and then send out this email. So if we refresh our subscribers here, so our welcome tag has been added. So let's go over to our email and see if we did receive it. We did receive our email. It says, welcome, I hope you enjoy the ebook on branding and marketing for business. Just a heads up, you'll start to receive a series of emails over the coming days and weeks with more tips and advice on how to market your business. Your standard welcome email. Now, the important part here is when I click this link. When I click this link, it's going to trigger our second customer journey that's waiting for someone to click this link. So let's click it. It's gonna download a PDF and then let's go over to our all subscribers here and see if we've got the second tag applied to our contact, which is ebook download link. So if we go into our contacts, we see here that indeed we have that second journey kickoff. So that tag has been applied, ebook download link. And if we go over to that customer journey, we see that the contact has started. So there's two in there, one that I previous tested and another one that's going through right now, which is the one that I clicked on for that email. So now we just have to wait for the email to arrive. So we just received our, our follow-up email because we clicked that link in the previous email and it says, thanks for downloading the ebook. You are a superstar. And I got a little Giphy in there that says you're a superstar. Thank you for downloading the ebook. And again, reiterating you're an absolute superstar. And if you have any questions on the content with the ebook, just hit reply or feel free to join our superstar Facebook community with a link to join our Facebook group. Now that's just an example of something that you could do based on the fact that we click the link, a specific link in the welcome email. If you'd like to learn more about customer journeys, I do have a couple of videos right here for you that you can go check out. Thanks as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.